Now across the apps, they now have icons and 3D models available to you that uh, you can mess around with as well. Icons are there to, again, uh, make it so you do not have to go hunting through wingdings and things like that for specific symbols. Icons are a nicely categorized set of black and white symbols that you can use in your documents. You can see the categories are over here to the left listed. Faces, education, buildings, all sorts of different things. Let's go ahead and do education since we're all educators here. Go ahead and bring up the bell. You can see that it inserts just like any other picture and I can mess around with my layout options, move it around just like before. It has its own graphics tools contextual tab where you can mess around with color, with outlines, uh, you can organize it and align it and arrange it just like any other picture. And finally, if you wanna be able to treat it like a normal shape, there's a button over here to the left that does allow you to convert any icons that you've created and customized to a simple shape, just as if you had drawn it from the insert shapes button here. All right, so much for that. There's also the 3D models option. 3D models, you can either create a 3D model from a third party such as a Blender or anything else you happen to be using and insert it from a file just like you would a normal picture on your computer. But they do also have online sources available here. And you can see that there's again a categorized grid view so if we pick any one of these, you can see a bunch of pictures. I'm just going to choose emoji and let's bring in the big smiley face here. So just like any other picture, I can click and drag to move it around. I can use my bounding box tools to make it bigger, smaller. I can rotate it. Again, this is so far just like any other picture. Um, what makes it different for 3D models is this little button here in the middle that allows me to actually move this figure inside 3D space here, as you can see. And I've got these uh, 3D model views up at the top of my screen that are basically pre-built views that you can use if you so desire here. Let's go ahead and do this one where it's looking up just a little bit. Perfect. The other thing available is the pan and zoom button over to the right. When I click on pan and zoom, it comes up with this little magnifying glass. And I can click and drag this magnifying glass to pan and zoom inside of the bounding box. So if I go too big, it actually cuts me off. You can see on the edges here. Perfect. So if I want the image to actually get big, bigger, I'll just use my bounding box tools. With pan and zoom clicked on, I can also drag, you can see here, the image inside the box. This is the panning feature. I could do something like this and it cuts it off. That's the 3D option. And you can see that again, you can align it, you can arrange it just like any other picture as well. And again, that's available across the Office apps. The icons and the 3D models are both available across the Office apps.